Alright, we've taken out half the Staroids attack force, so who's next? Maybe this, I guess, parody of an English thug? I don't know, just he looks like his head's hanging so low and he's got his arms outstretched. <laughs> it looks like he should just be shouting like, you're talking to me punk or something like that, I don't know. I'm gonna punch you with my fists. Anyway, Neptune stage is not a factory. Hooray! I like it so much more because of this. And uh, yeah, I actually really like the theme. And of course, music's good. Gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I swear I like the soundtrack more. I just, I don't know what to say about it. Anyway, uh, here's the mini boss. It's a helicopter. I just really like the stage's theme, and the helicopter fight helps a lot. We're just battling on top of a boat that's bobbing up and down, and there's just a helicopter here to just ruin Mega Man's day. There's also that guy here to ruin my day. How dare he? And here's the mini-boss again. <laughs> Let's see if a weapon works against him. <laughs> so yeah, uh... One thing I'm not huge on with Mega Man V is the repetition of mini-bosses. Mainly because, like... Okay, this is a thing Mega Man games do a lot, but usually they at least try to add some kind of variation to, like, anything. <laughs> like, there'll be enemies in another mini-boss, a different stage layout, Anything that differentiates them, but this game's like, nope, you just have to, uh, fight the mini-boss again. <laughs> uh, anyway, enough of that. We're now inside of the boat, which is pretty cool. Oh god, <laughs> I just destroyed that pipe. Uh, but yeah, I love this change of pace. This is such a neat gimmick for this level. And, like, they added these pipes that you can break that, you know, don't kill you or anything. It's not the worst punishment to hit them, but I mostly think then it just adds a little bit of flavor to the level, which is neat. Uh, that being said, though, some of these pipes release really steam instead, which is dangerous. That, of course, will hurt you, unlike the water, which will just push you. Uh, so this level can get a touch repetitive, but god, this... Stage Aesthetic just stands out to me so much more than the first two. Even though I, we are kind of back in a factory-ish setting, but it's a, the interior of a boat, so it's completely different. It's the interior of a boat which is filled with water. Is this our doing, or did Neptune just fuck up big time? <laughs> Turns out this is actually a water-powered boat. Now, you might be thinking, Hey, the whole point of boats is that their weight shouldn't be constantly shifting, so really, should you just have a boat this size, with this huge a tank of water, with no clear way of expelling said water, and pipes that just break and flood the boat worse? The answer is, shut up, it's fine. This boat doesn't have to care about physics. Look, it, it's traveling normally. Do you see this boat capsizing? No, that's because it's fine that all this water is constantly shifting. And there are just glass cylinders full of water everywhere, and also sections of the boat filled with water. It's all according to plan. Neptune's a staroid who knows the sea. He's got this. <laughs> He's very smart. He knows boats better than humans know boats. That's why we gotta stop them. The Staroids think they're so great with their superior boat technology and their active ignorance of <laughs> physics. Yeah, you might think, oh, water-powered ship, it's got like a water wheel, right? No, it's filled with water. You might think that's dumb, but you're not a Staroid, so actually, you're the dumb one. Says Neptune, who's here to fight us. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna give you some of this. You're gonna get the Neptune. Alright, so anyway, Neptune. He's very easy. He'll just jump over you and then try to shoot you with water, which you can avoid very easily. And then when he's almost dead, I guess, he'll try to 
drop water from the ceiling? That didn't look threatening at all, but those water droplets will damage you. Just so you know... I mean, you could assume. They look like a boss projectile, but in case you couldn't figure it out, uh, don't worry, I'm here with the expert plays. I've got the tips and the tricks. Alright, so for defeating Neptune, we get the best weapon of all. Splash him. <laughs> I actually do think it's a pretty neat weapon. Anyway, it's salt water. Don't drink it, or you're done. <laughs> Alright, next time on Mega Man V, we're gonna stop the Staroids invasion of Earth. I'm sure that this will be the end of the game.